Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe or repas. These flat, round corn cakes can be stuffed with various fillings like cheese, eggs, or meat. Arepas are a staple and beloved food in Colombia, as well as in other Latin American countries like Venezuela. These round, flat corn cakes are incredibly versatile and can be enjoyed in various ways. Here's a basic recipe for making Colombian arepas. Ingredients. 2 cups pre-cooked cornmeal, masarepa. 1 and a half to 2 cups warm water. 1 teaspoon salt. 2 tablespoons vegetable oil, optional, for cooking. Additional fillings or toppings, as desired, e.g., cheese, butter, ham, eggs. Instructions. Mix the dough. In a mixing bowl, combine the pre-cooked cornmeal, masarepa, and salt. Gradually add warm water while mixing until the dough comes together and forms a smooth, slightly sticky consistency. The exact amount of water needed may vary, so start with one and a half cups and add more as necessary. Knead the dough. Knead the dough for a few minutes until it's smooth and pliable. If it's too dry, add a bit more warm water. If it's too wet, add a little more cornmeal. Shape the arepas. Divide the dough into equal portions and shape them into balls about the size of a small pancake or the palm of your hand. Flatten each ball into a disc, about one half to three quarters inch thick. You can use your hands or a plastic wrap covered flat surface to do this. Cook the arepas. Heat a non-stick skillet or griddle over medium high heat. You can add a touch of vegetable oil to prevent sticking, but it's optional. Place the shaped arepas on the hot surface and cook for about four to five minutes on each side or until they develop a golden brown crust. Finish cooking, optional. If you'd like to add a filling, like cheese or ham, split the arepa open after the first side has cooked. Add the filling, and then continue cooking until the cheese melts or the filling heats through. Serve. Arepas are typically served warm. You can enjoy them as a side dish, snack, or even as a base for various toppings like eggs, avocado, or butter. Colombian arepas are a versatile and delicious addition to any meal. They can be enjoyed plain or filled with your favorite ingredients, making them a versatile and satisfying dish. Patacones. Thick, fried green plantains, often served with toppings like cheese or hogao, tomato and onion sauce. Patacones, also known as tostones in some Latin American countries, are a popular Colombian snack made from green plantains. These savory and crispy treats are often served as a side dish or appetizer. Here's how to make patacones. Ingredients green, unripe, plantains, vegetable oil, for frying, salt, to taste, instructions, peel the plantains, start by peeling the green plantains, cut off the ends, and then make a lengthwise slit along the skin, being careful not to cut into the flesh, use your fingers to gently pry the skin away from the plantain, slice the plantains, cut the peeled plantains into one inch thick rounds, fry the plantains, in a large skillet or frying pan, Heat enough vegetable oil to submerge the plantain rounds. The oil should be hot but not smoking, around 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius. Carefully add the plantain rounds to the hot oil in batches, making sure not to overcrowd the pan. Fry them for about 2-3 to three minutes on each side or until they are golden and slightly crispy. Remove the fried plantains from the oil and place them on a plate lined with paper towels to drain any excess oil. Flatten the plantains. Once the plantain rounds have been fried once, use a flat, heavy object, like a plate or a plantain press if you have one, to flatten them. Place a round between two pieces of parchment paper and press down firmly to flatten it to about half of its original thickness. Fry again. Return the flattened plantains to the hot oil and fry them for an additional 2 to 3 minutes on each side, or until they become crispy and golden brown. Drain and season. Remove the patacones from the oil and drain them on paper towels. While they are still hot, sprinkle them with salt to taste. Serve. Patacones are best enjoyed hot and crispy. They are often served as a side dish with various toppings, such as guacamole, aji sauce, or even shredded cheese. Patacones are a delightful and crunchy Colombian snack or side dish. Their savory flavor and crispy texture make them a popular choice in Colombian cuisine, and they pair well with a variety of dips and toppings. Chorizo. Grilled sausages, typically served with arepas or on a stick. Chorizo is a popular and flavorful sausage that is enjoyed in many countries, including Colombia. Colombian chorizo has its own unique taste and is often made with a combination of pork and spices. 
Here's a basic recipe for making Colombian chorizo at home. Ingredients. 1 pound ground pork. You can use a mix of lean and fatty pork. 2 cloves garlic, minced. 1 quarter cup red wine vinegar or white vinegar. 2 tablespoons paprika. 1 teaspoon ground cumin. 1 teaspoon ground coriander. 1 half teaspoon dried oregano. 1 half teaspoon cayenne pepper, adjust for spiciness. Salt and black pepper to taste. Hog casings, if available, or use as bulk sausage. Instructions. Prepare the casings, if using. If you're using hog casings, soak them in warm water for about 30 minutes to soften them. Rinse them thoroughly to remove any excess salt. Mix the ingredients. In a large mixing bowl, combine the ground pork, minced garlic, vinegar, paprika, ground cumin, ground coriander, dried oregano, cayenne pepper, salt, and black pepper. Knead the mixture. Using your hands, knead the mixture together until all the ingredients are well combined and the spices are evenly distributed. This will help develop the flavor. Stuff the sausage casings, if using. If you're using casings, carefully slide them onto a sausage stuffer or the nozzle of a piping bag. Leave a few inches of casing hanging off the end. Begin stuffing the casing with the chorizo mixture. Be sure not to overfill it, as you'll need some room to tie off the sausages later. Twist and tie. Twist the filled casing every 4 to 6 inches to create individual sausages. Use kitchen twine to tie off the ends of each sausage. Let rest. Place the chorizo sausages in the refrigerator and let them rest for at least a few hours or overnight. This allows the flavors to meld. Cook. Colombian chorizo can be grilled, pan-fried, or cooked in various dishes. To cook it as a standalone sausage, simply grill or pan-fry until it's browned and cooked through. Serve. Serve Colombian chorizo as a main dish with rice and beans, in sandwiches, or alongside other Colombian dishes. Colombian chorizo is known for its bold and spicy flavor, making it a favorite in Colombian cuisine. Making your own chorizo at home allows you to adjust the level of spiciness and seasoning to your taste preferences. Enjoy your homemade Colombian chorizo in a variety of dishes or as a flavorful addition to your meals. Tamal Steamed corn dough stuffed with meat, vegetables, and spices, wrapped in a plantain leaf. Tamales are a beloved and traditional dish enjoyed in many Latin American countries, including Colombia. Colombian tamales are typically made with masa, corn dough, that's filled with a flavorful mixture of meat, vegetables, and spices. Here's a basic recipe for Colombian tamales. Ingredients. For the dough, 2 cups pre-cooked cornmeal, masarepa. 2 cups chicken or vegetable broth. 1 half cup vegetable oil. Salt, to taste. For the filling, 2 pounds boneless, skinless chicken or pork, cut into small pieces. 1 cup chopped onions. 1 cup chopped tomatoes. 1 half cup chopped bell pepper, red or green. 2 cloves garlic, minced. 1 quarter cup green peas. 1 quarter cup chopped carrots. 1 quarter cup raisins, optional. 1 quarter cup sliced green olives, optional. 1 quarter cup chopped fresh cilantro. 1 half teaspoon ground cumin. 1 half teaspoon paprika. Salt and pepper to taste. Achiote or saffron for coloring, optional. For assembly. Banana leaves or corn husks, soaked and cleaned. Cooking twine or strips of banana leaves for tying. Instructions. Prepare the filling. In a large skillet, heat some vegetable oil over medium heat. Add the chopped onions, minced garlic, and bell pepper. Saute until the onions are translucent. Add the chopped meat and cook until it's brown. Stir in the chopped tomatoes, green peas, carrots, raisins, if using, and sliced green olives, if using. Cook for a few more minutes. Season the filling with ground cumin, paprika, salt, pepper, and chopped cilantro. Mix well and let it simmer until the ingredients are cooked through. Set the filling aside. Prepare the dough. In a large mixing bowl, Combine the pre-cooked cornmeal, masarepa, chicken or vegetable broth, vegetable oil, and achiote or saffron for coloring, if using. Mix until the dough is smooth and has a slightly orange color. Season the dough with salt to taste. Assemble the tamales. Lay out a banana leaf or corn husk, shiny side down, on a flat surface. Place a spoonful of the dough in the center of the leaf and flatten it to form a rectangle. Add a spoonful of the meat and vegetable filling on top of the dough. Oblias. Thin wafers often filled with arequipe, a sweet caramel spread, and grated cheese. 
Oblias are a delightful Colombian street food and dessert. These thin, round wafers are often filled with sweet and savory toppings, making them a popular treat. Here's a basic recipe for making Colombian oblias. Ingredients. For the oblias. Oblia wafers, available at Latin American or specialty stores. Dulce de leche, sweet caramel spread, or arequipe. Grated cheese, queso fresco, or cheese spread, optional. Sprinkles, grated coconut, or crushed peanuts, optional. For assembly. A small spatula or spoon. Instructions. Prepare your toppings. If you're using grated cheese, set it aside. You can also prepare any other toppings you'd like to use, such as sprinkles, grated coconut, or crushed peanuts. Warm the dulce de leche. If your dulce de leche or arequipe is too thick, you can gently warm it in the microwave or on the stovetop to make it easier to spread. Assemble the oblias. Lay out one oblia wafer on a clean, flat surface. Spread the filling. Using a small spatula or spoon, spread a generous layer of dulce de leche or arequipe onto half of the oblia. Add cheese, optional. If you like the sweet and salty combination, you can sprinkle some grated cheese or spread cheese on top of the dulce de leche. This is optional but a common choice in Colombia. Fold in half. Carefully fold the oblia in half, creating a half moon shape. Press down gently to seal the edges. Decorate. If desired, sprinkle the top of the oblia with your chosen toppings, such as sprinkles, grated coconut, or crushed peanuts. Serve. Colombian oblias are typically served as a handheld snack or dessert. They can be enjoyed immediately or wrapped in plastic wrap for later. Oblias are a delightful combination of textures and flavors, with the crispy wafer, sweet caramel, and optional cheese offering a unique culinary experience. They are a popular street food in Colombia and are enjoyed by people of all ages. You can get creative with your oblia fillings and toppings to suit your taste preferences.